how would you make the distinction between sort of being positively, you know, productively repeatable versus being unproductively boring and and uh, and unchanging? I mean, repeatability is the, the idea of it was really about how to take your greatest successes and how to understand them uh, very deeply uh, and how to therefore take what was the essence. Uh, what was the essence? What was it? What was the root cause of your success? And to reapply that over and over and over again. So it doesn't mean a mediocre retail store that is building more stores that all look the same. That is not what we mean by repeatability. We mean at a deeper level having self-awareness of your uh, of your strengths. So for Nike, if you ask people what is their core, you know they will typically will not say it's sports shoes if they're more thoughtful. They will say it's three or four capabilities which work together in a repeatable model. It is the ability to manage sport, iconic sports athletes. And in most of the sports they're in, they have signed up six of the top ten athletes. You can see it just on tennis, except for the men's finals uh, today. Um, but certainly it's true for the women's finals. <clears throat> uh, second is uh, the use of the swoosh. They consider that to be differentiated. It's how they design, and it's their supply chain to Asia. And it's really those capabilities. Usually we find three or four differentiated capabilities at the heart of success, which can be reapplied over and over again. I think it's true for us as humans, and I think it's true of organizations. And in the crush of daily life, you know, people relatively uh, are re don't often sit down and say, what really is the absolute root cause of our greatest successes? What were our greatest successes? Why did they really happen? There's a constant uh, search for something new, for new bright, shiny objects. Whereas, in this, just my, this long, my last, my last sentence in this, we... We did a study at Bain where, in the strategy practice, I said, oh, there's all these multi-million dollar studies. What really do we find out after the end of the day? What really is kind of thing? What do we find out? And so we looked at 115 of them. And, you know, it could be we find some amazing new market or some growth opportunity or some big threat people are missing, and that's all true. But in two-thirds of the cases, the main insight was that the core had been understood uh, inadequately, had strengths in general that could be reapplied to new places that were not happening. And actually, the core of the core of the core had more potential than people had recognized. And it really is understanding that and how to take it and transport it into new areas in a world that is changing that is the essence, I think, of adaptability and, uh, and repeatability in a, in a deeper sense.